new CGCs. Let's check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the selection of new CGC products we just got in. Um, but before we do that, I'm your host Shane. Just remember, when we reach a thousand subscribers, we're giving this bad boy away. Um, so please remember to like, share and subscribe. And chuck some comments down below and turn notifications on. Uh, we got a selection of some new CGC stuff in that we bought in. Um, but it's an interesting scenario for us. We're missing some of them, which is slightly worrying i think a box is missing somewhere along the lines i've already looked at these this isn't a mystery one unfortunately but we had because we had to check these off but um some okay grades some decent grades but some of them mm. and then we've got one that's a bit of a bit of a disaster bit of a disaster but um so a lot of these are repeats there's four different comics all together there is uh the new strange number one the Batman Killing Time number one, uh, the Spider Gwen Homage variant, and the What If Miles Morales. Uh, we've got a couple of the same, so we'll go through them, but they, they've got different grades and whatever. <clears throat> and then we'll have a look at them as well and see if we can see why they've got the grades they got and if there was anything quality control like the last ones we've had a look at. And I've just noticed a major quality control issue here. This probably happened in delivery, and I've just noticed this now. This has got a massive crack in it. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So that's another great start that we wanted. Okay. So we'll start with Batman <laughs> Killing Time. I can't believe I've just taken that off and I've just noticed that. I've just taken the sleeve off it now. And it has a massive crack in it. Um, but I also noticed something else about this one, which is I'm going to show you when I get the camera over, is as well as the crack, there's actually a mag on the comic himself, but yet it's got a 9.8. We talked about quality control in the last um, CGC video, and it's quite interesting because some of these um, have got a lower grade. But I haven't taken them out of the bags yet, all of them, except for this one, are all still in their bags, so we'll have a look at them properly. But yeah, okay, interesting. Cracked. So this bad boy's got to go back, but that's a shame. Uh, yeah, the 9.8, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. Right, and then we've only got one copy of this because we're miss. Um, uh, there's another four on order, another three on order. This is the Strange. Uh, number one. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? Two out of two. And I knew we had a bad one. There's actually cracked plastic on the inside. Wow. Oh, wow. And it's cracked at the top here. This is not going well for a video. <laughs> Jeez. So while I've seen these, I obviously haven't taken them out of the sleeves yet, as you've just seen. So I haven't inspected them properly. Uh, I wanted to do that on video and I wanted to see uh, about the grades. And because I knew some of them got 9.6s and 9.8s and so on and so forth. But um, yeah, so this is going to be an interesting one to look at because I've just noticed there's dust particles uh, inside and above the comic here and here uh yeah broken plastic down there and a big crack up here so so far two out of two uh going back which is the i knew one was going back and we'll see that now when we get to it so this will be interesting so this is the other batman killing time number one we had two of these in um right this is also cracked oh wow Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is, this, this is an interesting video. Um, yeah, we have a huge crack up here. Uh, it's scuffed and marked on the front. Uh, there is a sort of crack, well, it's not a crack, there's a chip just by here. Uh, well, this is, there's a crack right here. Um, okay. Okay, right. Okay, three for three. Ugh. Hmm. I now don't want to open the rest, to be honest, but 
we we do what we do. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is the What If Miles Morales. This is a great story if you get a chance to read it. Um, okay, no cracks to start with. Let's just make sure I'm correct. Nope. Okay, so this is the 9.8. Um, no, that's not a crack, it's just a thing. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, I thought there was a crack down there. It's not, it's a little, there's a little nick, which isn't a great, uh, especially for a 9.8 by there, but it's hardly noticeable. But actually, no, that's. That's got every chance of turning into a crack. That is a lot deeper than I thought it was. Okay. Maybe I should have checked these out before I started the video. Four. Okay. <laughs> the light is fading from my eyes as we're doing this now. So this is Mars Mars again. This is a 9.8. Um... I think we're okay with this one. Are we? Are we okay? I think so. I think so. Right. Okay. Any markings of dust particles on the inside? No. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, I'm sort of happy with that one. Um, it does, again, have a little mark down there. Now, I'm wondering if that's a common... Yes, I think it is. Maybe there was just this batch. Sorry, two seconds. Oh, they all seem to have the same mark down here. Um, maybe this is the way the plastic was formed. Okay. So that's one, no cracks. Um, right, so we've got another Miles Morales here. So this is the third one. This is also a 9.8. Uh, clean, no cracks. And I'm not seeing any dust particles or anything on the inside like I did with the other one. And the cover looks pretty clean. But we'll have a quicker look, we'll have a better look in a minute. And the final one for the Miles Morales. Uh, again, 9.8, great grade. No cracks and no other problems there. So, yeah, okay, pretty good. So, we're up three, three to four at the moment. Now, this is where it changes. And it swings back the other way. Um, should I take... So basically, this is how it's turned up. There's a crack there and a massive... Well, it's not cracked, it's completely smashed. Um, I'm going to leave this one in the packaging. And then we do when we do the upfront video, um, then I'll take it out. Because it's actually... Pieces have actually fallen off it. Um, it is completely utterly shattered. You're not going to be see, able to see that properly there, but... I will show it, and but I'll keep that one taped up, and then we'll do that one last. Uh, right, so then we've got the other Spider Gwen. Uh, 9.6. And we have a major quality control issue. There is a huge bit of plastic in the back by here. Huge bit of plastic in the back. Um... Yeah, so that's another one for the, what I'm going to call the loser pile. Uh, okay. Jesus. So these are all from the same batch. So I would assume these are all gone through quality control at the same time. And whoever's done it just hasn't been paying attention. Now I know CGC has had backlogs with bits and pieces and things like that, but um, it's... The cracks can all happen in, in transit, I understand that, but when you've got bits of plastic and dirt and things on the comics themselves and inside the casing, that's nothing to do with delivery, um, unless it's completely cracked and popped in. But this one's all right. Um, 9.8, so one of our 9.8 has at least made it through, which is great. There's no cracks. He says with bated breath. Um, 
and I can't see any any plastics on the inside. So okay, we got another one. So this is the final one. This is uh, another Gwen homage variant cover, and it's another nine point eight. So can we get a decent thing? No, we cannot. There's a huge crack. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take it when these were packaged, they weren't done correctly, and they've been shipped to us like this. Um, and again, not only is there a huge crack, there's a huge bit of plastic in the back, which is nothing to do with the comic. Um, okay, so out of what's that? 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 2, 4, yeah. Uh, so out of 12, we've got four that are salvageable. Okay, let's have a proper look at them then. Okay, guys, the first one we're going to take a look at is the Spider Gwen. Um, we'll check the decent pile first, just to um, check what, what's going on. Uh, this was the the 9.8 homage cover. Um it looks pretty clean. I don't see any problems with it at all. Um, you know, 9.8 is quite a high grade, as we all know. It's very hard to get over a 10 or 9.9 or a 9 .9 out of 10. Um, overall, decent, fairly happy with that one. I'm going to fly through these ones because I've had a quick look just off camera and I can't see any huge problems with them, but... I want to show you guys anyway. Uh, Mars Morales, 9.8. Uh, again, clean corners, clean edges. Don't see any great marks. Um, and then the back. No spine ticks. General spine um, wear, which you get on most comics. And that's probably what's given the 9.8. But quite tidy overall. The next miles. Exactly the same again. Clean. Clean edges. Sorry. Oh, wrong way. Good corners. Uh, as you expect from a modern book anyway. That's just been slabbed. And then the third one. Again, quick, quick ganders. Really clean, really clear. And again, at the back, 9.8. I'm happy with them four. Um, but I suppose now we've got to go on to um, the bad. Um, and I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's actually plastic shaking around inside. Um, I found the bit, so I will show you. So, uh, the comic itself looks in fairly decent condition, but the culprit, the thing we want to see is the crack here. Um, the huge bit of plastic I was talking about, uh, I think you can just see it on camera here. Just let it focus. Um, and then obviously we've got another bit of plastic that's uh, that's shaking around on the inside. That could have come from, I think it's come from there, where it's cracked. Um, so, yeah, uh, the plastic itself, you can just see it in the bottom by here. So you can just see it here. Um, it's a shame really, you know, it was a 9.8, uh, it, it's, it's just cracked and, um, but that is for me, is absolutely shocking. There, there's a huge bit of plastic on the inside of it. Um, I don't know if you see, just in case it's not going to quite work. Um, but yeah, it's completely stuck and sealed in with it so this is exactly the same or a similar shade in one of the other ones now so i'll show you them okay the 9.6 uh 
uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, this again had the was this the one with the plastic in it? Yes, there it is. There you can just make it out on the camera. A shard of plastic on the inside. Um, there's no real excuses because this one isn't cracked. This is the one that wasn't cracked. That just had. Um, it's just got the plastic on the inside, which is. It's a quality control issue. So that's plastic there, and obviously the plastic on the one we've just seen. So these are two have been sealed with bits of plastic on the inside of them. It's just quality control issue. The the other stuff with the cracks and all, I can understand it would be hope uh, happen in delivery. Um, and where the parcel has been handled, but that is that's not part of that. Um, so now we have the Mars Morales, the nine point eight that we talked about. Again, this one, the comic itself is in is in good condition, um, probably worthy of the nine point eight, but. It has a small crack just formed down here. If you guys can just see that. Um, and the case in itself is all scratched up. It's all banged up uh, at the back here, which I've just spotted. And then this is the one with another piece of... I don't know if that's going to show it's the way it is. It's another piece of plastic just here. So you just see that plastic there. Um, so yeah, so this has got a small crack in it, but not enough where it's broken off on the inside. Again, this has been sealed with plastic on it. Um, again, a quality control issue. I understand that they're busy and they had a big turnaround. We're still waiting for comics that we sent off in January and February of last year, believe it or not. Um, but that doesn't mean that these comics should should suffer because of that. It, it It's massive. Um, it's a massive quality control issue. And it's not the first time it's happened. Uh, this was the Batman Killing Joke, uh, sorry, Killing Time, number one, uh, 9.8. Again all decent the comic itself is fine uh until we get to the problem I, I, it just amazes me that they've allowed these to be shipped this way where they're gonna they're gonna get damaged and it's gonna be you know you're gonna get these cracks there's no i was just looking for plastics there's no plastic on the inside this is just the one that's cracked this is a very similar crack to the miles morales's one um, where I feel that that's probably going to go around the same um, once it's been moved about a couple of times. And obviously with this one, we got the cracks at the top as well, um, which is what was on camera. You can just see it through there. Just cracked through. And then if I turn it around, you can see it more there. Um, again, I understand these things get shipped and they get manhandled quite a lot. They all come from America. But they're normally um, packaged like like bomb packaging. And I, and I didn't feel there was anything wrong with the packaging that we had it, had it in. Um, and if I would have realized that we had so many of these that were this bad, I would have brought the packaging in. Um, I would have brought it in in the packaging. But I thought we only had the one Spider Gwen that was completely shattered, which we're going to open on camera now. Um, but that's not the case. So... Uh, we got the other Batman Killing Time. Uh, again, massive crack down here. It's just a shame. 9.8. Um, this was also the one that I believe had. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of things with this one. There was... Was it this one or was it the other one? Sorry, at the... Ah, it's this one, yes, sorry. So even though this is a 9.8, the comic itself is actually marked up and damaged. Um, but yeah, it's got a 9.8. There's, there's literally a color break there. 
it's on the comic. Um, some people would say, well, that's a lucky call. That's great. You've got a 9.8, even though it's it's got that. But again, surely that's a quality control issue because should have got a 9.8. The the other one, it's not. A, it doesn't look like it's a common mag because this one hasn't got it. It looks like it's it's on the staple. It's been rubbed. It, it happens. Uh, it's a pain when it happens, and it does um, affect the grade. But that's that's the point of it. Um, but yeah, again, it's turned up. Damage case. Um, we have the crack, obviously, all the way down here. You can see it there better. Uh, such a shame. Such a shame. Um, last but one. Um, before we go on to the big one, we have the Doctor Strange. Uh, sorry, the Strange number one. Uh, great reads, uh, but again, nine point six. Do I think there's anything wrong with the comic? Yes, I do. There's the spine down there. While well, some of that is part of the print, the spine is in not the best. It's it's got a lot of rub on there. It's a couple of knocks on the corner, uh, and so and up here also. Uh, but again, we have problems. Uh, it's just the case of uh, solving these problems. And they can do this. Um, they can do these quality control problems with these. Like It's all marked. The back is all marked up. I don't know if the light can catch that properly. But it's really badly scuffed. Um, and obviously, then we've got the, the crack. Now, I'm going to assume somebody's used this parcel as a football. Because to get only four of the comics we've ordered, and um, we're missing some as well, so there's actually another parcel missing. Um, but to get, you know, what's that? Three comics more um, damaged than what we ordered. It, it's it's silly. It's silly. Um, but the final one, and the one I thought I'd better leave to last, again, I've just showed in the wrap in. This is completely snapped. We can see a piece here. It's come off. It is completely destroyed. Uh, and it was a nine it was a nine point eight comic and I believe now the comic has actually been damaged due to this as well. So just gonna pull this out. There's all the bits we can just see completely I'm just checking on the black there. You can just see completely damaged. This here is nearly off. I'm not gonna pull it off. Uh it's actually knocked the comic. I don't know if we can see that. And there's actually a, a damage line on the comic now as well. So th this is even being uh, sent back and resealed. This will never get a 9.8 again. So it's a shame. It's complete crack up there. As we can see, the parts have fallen off. we got here. It's chatted along there. Um, such a shame. Such a shame. Um, for a, what is a great comic, uh, 9.8. It's just completely and utterly shattered. These things happen. I understand that. And I thought this was going to be the only one. I didn't realize about the other ones we've just seen. So it's not helped my mood at all. <laughs> As you can imagine that we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven damaged and... Some of them are damaged because of delivery, as we discussed, and some of them are damaged because of quality control issues. Um, but yeah, this is this is now completely gone. Uh, it's it's affected the comic. It's such a shame, to be honest, such a shame. But it is what it is. So, let me know in the comments below, guys, if you've ever had the problem with the CGC. Well, that was a disappointment. Let's be honest. Um, I'm surprised about how many damages we got here today. I, I, I can't believe it. I think you guys can probably tell on camera. Um, I We obviously knew this one was damaged. We've seen the picture before and before I took out the case in. And, um, I was quite gutted that this one was damaged. But, oops, it's fallen off finally. Um, I, beyond beyond shocked that some of these have turned up. Now, I do feel that the, the packaging was, was pretty solid. Um, but if I say that, that means then they've shipped them damaged. It's weird. I, I wish I would have known there was more damages because I would have brought the box it in, but we've already got rid of the box and everything. Um, I'm quite surprised of the damages we got for the box we're in, but I don't want to blame that. But there is obviously other 
quality control issues in there, which is a major problem. You know, having plastic and dust underneath the glasses and um, having comics that have got marks on them, but they, they get a 9.8. It, it seems the quality control needs to pick up. I understand CGC have been um, delayed and under a lot of pressure for the last year or so, two years. Uh, but it, it, I don't think that excuses what's going on here today. I can put some of it down the postage, even though it was packed well. But, you know, the, the glass in the back and the chips and the, the other bits and pieces. Um, I've just actually, I think I missed this on the video. I don't think I pointed that out. I've just noticed on the Doctor Strange, there's, there's plastic in there as well. Uh, <laughs> I've just literally noticed it's just underneath on the left-hand side. I, was, I obviously didn't look at that properly. Um, yeah, absolute madness. Um, but let me know in the comments below, guys, if you've ever had problems with CGC or any other slabbing company and how you went around it and you know what was the results. So I'm interested, to be honest. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate that. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And remember that we're giving away a non-damaged uh, 9.8 Spider-Gwen uh, when we get to 1,000 subscribers. It will be this one. It won't be this one. Um, thanks again, guys. Good night, God bless, all the best. Turn out. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night, God bless, all the best.